Well, good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to use the last of my lovely little Fajoas. Uh, this is a small one which I've saved aside to show you. Um, to make up some Fajoa fritters. Alright, nice simple little recipe. I'm going to start with one cup of flour, quarter cup of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, or just a pinch of salt. A little bit of cinnamon just for flavour. Probably about a quarter teaspoon of that. Okay, next we're going to add in our fajoa. I've probably got oh, about three quarters of a cup, a cup of that. One egg. Just going to give that a little beat first. Three quarters cup of milk. Okay, quarter cup of butter that I've melted and let cool a bit. Yeah, I'll just use uh, some parchment paper or baking paper just to make sure I get the solids out. Still want to leave a bit of butter in the pan because this is going to be the pan that I cook it in. Um, and I use the parchment paper just to spread butter if I need any further butter during the cooking process. Last thing we're going to add is a tablespoon of lime juice. Uh, do that just for the flavour. Uh, the other option you can use is instead of using milk, using some buttermilk because the sourness of it will help um the flour to rise now this is a self-raising flour uh, which i've spoken about before you can instead of using self-raising you can use a plain flour and add in uh, baking soda or baking powder and acid helps that to rise i just want to mix that together to get any that's the floury lumps out. There we go, across to the stove now and we'll cook it up. All right, there we go, the pan's up to heat. So I'm just gonna put our mixture in. Just depends on the size of the pan as to how many you can cook at any one time. Now we we'll just let that be till you start to see bubbles raise up and through it. Uh, once you get that and you start getting crispy around the edges, then we'll flip it over. We're starting to get those bubbles in there. That means we're cooking through. Flip it over. There we go, nice and crispy on the outside. As you notice, I always try and flip them inwards and that way the outside edge, which wasn't cooked as much because it's not over the flame, that gets cooked up. So we'll just leave that for that second side to cook. Okay, there we go, second side's cooked, out we go. Fresh bit of butter. As I said, I'll just spread that around with that baking paper. And then we go with the next ones. All right, well, I'll keep going with these, get them all cooked, and I will meet you back at the bench shortly. All right, there we are, all cooked up. 
Set a couple of these beauties up. And just a bit of powdered or icing sugar over the top. Of course, you could use some ice cream or some maple syrup or something like that. Just give an extra sweet kick at the end of it. And of course, as per normal, the big question is, what does it taste like? Yeah, nicely cooked fruit, bit of fajawa there. And that is absolutely delicious. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching, and bye for now.